What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at Tico Print. It's an app for uh, Time Grapher, uh, your automatic watch like I have in front of me. This is the free version. There is a paid version which will allow you to unlock the amplitude and the beat error. Amplitude means it's your balance wheel with the hairspring which rotates from left to right and then uh, it has to do with the pallet fork and all of that stuff. The beat error is, um, you, you know, you're getting into some technical stuff and if you have an expensive watch, I highly recommend you take it to somebody that really knows what they're doing. In my case, this is just running fast. So getting to this app, if you want to buy it, you click that icon, it'll bring this up. You click that, and for 30 bucks, you might as well add the other 100 in and buy a regular time grapher, and you'll be set. So, with that said, what we're going to be focusing right now on is the zero, which will indicate your seconds. So, my watch is roughly running around 30 seconds a day fast in the horizontal position, meaning laying on its face or on the back. I have the back off. You can see the little balance wheel and the hairspring going back and forth. Right here, there's your plus and minus, and this little lever you push back and forth ever so slightly. This over here is your beat error. I strongly recommend not touching that because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to mess it up and you're going to take it to the watch guy anyway. So, we want to come back over here to uh, the app and on some apps, including the time grapher machines themselves, will indicate a plus sign if it's running fast. This app does not it just indicates like mine is running roughly 30 some seconds a day fast so it's not going to indicate a plus sign with this app it will indicate negative um, over here before you after you install this you're gonna click the little hamburger icon and you're gonna scroll down to calibration now you're gonna click calibrate you click on calibrate you're gonna see a percentage once that reaches 100 all this is doing is calibrating the software to your hardware which is your phone that's all it's doing okay so we got the device calibrated now all you do is click okay because this needs absolute quietness in order to work right alright so we got this set up here what I'm using here to hold the phone is just a little watch case vise and I don't have it tight or anything on the phone and have a little uh, coaster and make sure you put down uh, microfiber cloth to protect your watch face and I do want to show you this it has a tick simulator if you click on that, you're going to see uh, down here, click start, and it's just simulating what you know, you're supposed to see. Now, this would represent your tick and talk, and they should run parallel like that, evenly and then up in the corner you can see this would be the tick tock and then this is gonna you know change from orange to green so let's stop that the other thing that needs to be said here uh, before we click on start right here you want to make sure your speaker on the phone is directly over your case and right now being that that's upside down and then if you turn the watch from laying on the face to this way 
vertical, so horizontal, vertical, you're going to get a different type of uh, reading. All right, one other thing I want to mention is down here, you'll see auto. If you click on that, that's going to give you, if you know the beats per hour, you can select that manual. If not, just click auto. Over here, you'll see 52 degrees. That's your lift angle. Now, you can set the lift angle in the free version if you know it. Alright, so we're going to come over here. We're going to tap start. And then we're going to tap start down here, which actually starts it. And we got to be quiet for this. All right, so you want to leave this thing run for three minutes, and you can see we were averaging, you know, between 31, 32, and it fluctuated. We'll give a different measure with the watch standing vertical. All right, so we're in the vertical position with the watch, and I just clamped the vise right to the side of the phone, and we got this watch laying up against the phone we're gonna click start down here give it another three minutes All right, so you can see the tick and the talk is nice and parallel lines, but you can see we were like, why we run it for uh, three minutes, because we started out seven, eight, nine seconds a day, and we we're starting to climb up to 12 to 13, now 14 seconds a day. So we're definitely running fast. Vertical is less fast than horizontal so we have to retard this watch and you can use a mic to plug in and then clamp over here on your watch you can buy one of them but if you're gonna do that just buy a time grapher alright so this is the little part try and find it right here there's a jewel there and then this is your if there's a plus sign here and a negative sign here if you push it this way you're gonna make it faster if you pull it this way you're gonna retard it make it slower this is your beat error don't mess with that one um, the finest microscopic touch will dramatically increase or decrease the speed okay so after a lot of messing with it, I got it down to five seconds, and I'm talking micro bumps on that little uh, wheel I showed you guys. So let's start it, and I'll show you. Alright, so it's almost three minutes, and I want to point out to you guys, when these lines are pointing up, that means, you know, it's fast. When they start coming down, that means it's slow. If they're going straight across, that means you're dead on with your timing. Now, you can see these uh, specs, that's because I'm talking and I didn't stop it. Alright, so there's uh, three minutes in the vertical position. 
It's far better than what it was. It's like minus seven, minus eight. And uh, I'm not going to argue with that. Plus, you know, three to five in horizontal and minus eight to seven in the vertical position.